game 40. Well, we ask ourselves now, can Martina come back? Because for the second time in the match, the girl on screen, Hanna Medlikova, has won four games in succession. It's been a, a strange match. It's been a, a brilliant match at times, punctuated by a few errors, certainly unexpected ones from Martina on the volley. But this just shows you how brilliant Hannah is. A half volley from the baseline and playing it for a winner. There's not many players no, that's that that's incredible, do that. isn't it? But uh, she has that ability to bring off these difficult shots. Very, very talented player. Well, maybe it's all going to depend on her serve because when her serve went off in the mid to latter part of the first set, Martini was able to jump on the second serve and subsequently Hana dropped two service games in succession. Time. 7-5, the first set to Hana Van Lekover, and she's held serve in the opening game of the second before this capacity crowd at Kuyong. Standing in the aisles, literally. So can Martina Take come back? Take your seats quickly, please. Thank you. I'd be very surprised if she didn't. I wouldn't say she's got a vice-like grip on the match. When anybody's playing Martina, Martina is always a chance, but Hannah's game, Sue, would really have to fall away for Martina to get back in it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Hannah, as we can see on this uh, last point, able to bring off incredible shots there, a, a slice forehand. I mean, the serve was quite short. Martina probably should have done a little bit more on the return. But what a tremendous shot there from Hannah. Really slicing that forehand moving forward and just guiding it into the court but uh, she is playing very very well everything is working for her but at the moment at the moment yes but as we've seen before things can change with hannah but at the moment her concentration excellent and she's deep in thought on this changeover yes yeah, she's uh, trying to shut everything else out And that's a good sign from Hannah's point of view that she is trying to concentrate on the points. We know that in the semi-final against her Claudia Catechill, she went walkabout virtually in the second set. That was the state premier of Victoria, Mr. John Kane. Hi. Mr. Kane, of course, one of the prime movers behind the new National Tennis Centre, which is under construction in Jollymont. Philippe Chatrier there in the hat. Quiet, please. Ryan Tobin, Thank you. enjoying the top match so far. Thank you. I think expecting Martina to come back. Well, as I mentioned, Sue, that previous service game of Martina's, which was a deuce game, she really had to struggle to hold serve. But importantly, she held it, and now she's broken harder in the following game, so she's back in it. Yes, and what a great point she played to win this game. Really attacking that backhand. And she enjoyed it. So now all of a sudden, the match really tight again. Anna is well in front with a break of serve. But uh, Martina is a great champion, and you know that she's going to fight every inch of the way. And she did in that last game. Anna again with the head in the towel. Deep in concentration and thought. Martina more methodical, going through the usual toweling down process. Time. So we have a service break apiece in the second set in the ladies' singles final of the Ford Australian Open. It's the Martina entourage.
So an important game here for Martina. She really has got to improve her volleys and get the, the first serve Thank in you. and follow up with the good volley. It's somewhat closer than their head-to-head -head out of Grand Slam, which Martina leads, I think, at 23-6, isn't it, Sue? A yes, little bit. that's right. Suddenly the pattern of the match changing. Both girls winning their service very comfortably. Yes, that's been a rarity, hasn't it? Yes, I think that's due to the fact that they have been returning serves so well. I think the uh, Manlakova sliced return... That's caused Martina a lot of problems, hasn't really it? ...really has been mm. a great shot today. And uh, she's just continuing to give Martina a lot of tough volleys. Yes, and Martina lost a lot of confidence on the volleys when she missed a few. And Hana was very quick to take advantage of that. She could see that Martina was a little bit distressed. The boys from Channel 4 in Italy. So we have a service break of peace in the second set. Last two games going comfortably with service, and indeed that's been a rarity so far in this match. And what a day for tennis. Betty Stover, Hannah's coach. Would be, I think, a little bit more apprehensive now than she was a few games back when Hannah seemed to have the match pretty well in her keeping. When she led a set and three love. Where's the ball girl gone? We're missing one, are we? Sideline at the clubhouse end. We have another ball girl, please. Quickly. No, we don't have one at the net. <laughs> Thank you. And today, Sue, she really was at her brilliant best. She had no laps, really. A serve might have gone up in a couple of games. Yes. But that was about the best match I've seen Hannah play. Absolutely. She kept up that high level championship to Mandla Kova. Two sets to love. 7-5, seven, 7-6. Seven, Thank you. Yes, there it is. And she did keep up the high quality of tennis throughout the match. So there it is. Hannah Mandla Kova winning the last singles title in an Australian Open here at Kuyong, defeating Martina de Rattler in straight sets. We'll take a break and we'll be back with the presentation coming up.
So Hannah Manlikova winning in straight set. 7-5, seven, 7-6, seven, 7-1 seven, in the tie break. What a match. Nine service breaks. And for Hannah, 10, the lucky number. She's lost the last nine matches against Martina. Her 58th match winning streak comes to an end. Her second Australian Open, her second tournament win in three starts in 1987. And in 30 matches against Martina Navratilova, that's number seven for Hannah Manlikova. For this packed stadium here at Kuyong, what a tremendous match. High standard right throughout, played in hot, blustery conditions before an absolutely packed Kuyong. Brian Tobin, the President of Tennis Australia, about to introduce the two players to make the presentations. Let's go down to Peter Landy. It's time now for the official presentation for the ladies singles in the Ford Australian Open for 1987, ladies and gentlemen. Would you make welcome now the President of Tennis Australia, Mr. Brian Tobin. Thank you, Peter. Mr. Premier, Mr. Philippe Chartier, President of the International Tennis Federation, uh, Mr. Buzzer Haddingham, Chairman of the All England Club, Mr. Bill Dix, Managing Director of Ford Australia, Dr. John Fraser, President of the Victorian Tennis Association. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, all of you. I guess uh, this is the time we honour a new champion. And what a champion. <laughs> I think it's worthwhile remembering, though, that she beat a wonderful lady, a wonderful champion, who up until now had made 23 appearances in Grand Slam finals and had won 15 of them. <laughs> Martini, you've already won three of these uh, titles and I guess it's about time you shared a little bit. But uh, you know how much we enjoy having you play here and. Uh, we congratulate you on it was really a great tournament. I mean, you're a finalist and you only just lost. We're always delighted to see you and congratulations on a fine tournament. Hannah, uh, well, as most of you know, Hannah has uh, now married an Australian and who knows, in a year or two. In a year or two, we might be looking at the scoreboard there and seeing H. Mandela over Australia. I, uh, I think now that you're Australian champion for the second time, uh, you've got 10,000 uh, referees here who would be delighted to see you living in Australia and uh, you're a very worthy champion. And I'm sure if you gain citizenship, a worthy Australian. We congratulate you, Hannah. Wonderful victory. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I just did want to take one moment because history has been created here today and uh, I wanted to introduce to you two ladies who have been part of Australian tennis history. I speak of Joan Hardick and Bathurst, the lady in the middle here, who won the Australian Championship in 1933, 34 and 36. and looks fit enough to be at least playing in the mixed doubles final this afternoon. <laughs> On her right is a very famous Australian tennis player, Nancy Wynne Bolton. <laughs> Nancy first won the Australian Championship 50 years ago, 1937, 1940, 46, 47, 48 and 51. She was in fact ranked uh, number four in the world from 1947 to 49. She won uh, the Australian doubles championship nine times with Thelma Long, who was also sitting in Tennis Australia box over there. Uh, she 
He won the mixed doubles with Colin Long four times. And I think he's here somewhere too. But ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted you to recognise some champions from the past because they have a great place in Australian tennis history. Thank you. Now, if I could introduce to you Mr. Bill Dix, Managing Director of Ford Australia. Thank you, Brian. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. Well, it's been a tremendous day's tennis again. You know, in the Ford Motor Company, when we look to sponsor an activity, we look to sponsor an activity that has a lot of public interest and a lot of participation. And certainly the Australian Open qualifies under both headings. The crowds have been record crowds this year and the tennis has been of superb standard. And I'm sure everyone's enjoyed it. <coughs> no tennis match, of course, is, uh, is complete without all of the people who are working so hard to make it a success. And of course amongst those uh, are all of the attendants on the court, the umpires and all of the other people that contribute so much. A key of course is having an organisation that runs tennis effectively in this country and Brian Tobin and his committee and his supporters in Tennis Australia deserve your great, congratula your great congratulations on the way they have promoted tennis in Australia and their plans for the future. And of course the next most important thing I guess if you've got all the organisation right is have the players right. And this year we've had been very uh, fortunate in having such a wide uh, spectrum of the greats of tennis from around the world come to play in the Australian Open. And certainly in the women's uh, singles there's been a tremendous entry. We've missed a couple of familiar faces from the past because of injury. But this year we've had a, a magnificent entry and it's nice to see amongst those entries a few uh, uh, members of the Australian uh, community coming through and I gather from what I hear that uh, Hannah might be uh, named amongst them eventually but uh, certainly we'd like to grow our own as well, Hannah. <coughs> but <coughs> the, uh, the day has been one of, of tremendous uh, tennis. We've all enjoyed the very tight match between you two great champions. Martina, we've seen you many times here before, successful in this event, and I'd like to now, if you'd step forward, present you with the runner-up trophy. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to uh, first of all congratulate Hannah. She played a really, really good match. She deserved to win today. Um, I've beaten her a few times in a row and played some great tennis and today I didn't and I knew that my luck was going to run out sooner or later. Unfortunately it was today but uh, Anyway, I think uh, it was still a close match. It, uh, I had some opportunities, but couldn't quite make it happen. But anyhow, uh, I'm sure that I'll be back here. I think one reason I'm really sad at losing this one is because it is the last year here at Kuyong, and uh, this has been a very special event over the years for the players and for myself, and I'm sorry that uh, I can't be back here again. But uh, anyway, I, I guess the uh, new uh, facility is supposed to be pretty nice, so maybe, <laughs> maybe it'll be all right. <laughs> Depending, of course, on what surface we'll play on. But uh, <laughs> 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 I'm sure that Brian and his company will make a wise choice. But anyhow. Uh, there are a lot of people to thank. I, I wish that I had done a little better because a lot of preparation went into this tournament and uh, I have some new fine uh, people that I'm working with. Uh, some of them are here, some are not. But I'd like to thank uh, Virginia Wade and uh, Randy Crawford.
And also another man, uh, Rick Elstey, whom I've been working with. He's in the States. I think he was watching. And uh, I'd like to thank my uh, dogs and uh, a cat who've been watching in the States. <laughs> <laughs> they like to watch me play. Uh, I don't think they know that I lost, so it doesn't matter, I suppose. <laughs> And uh, also, I'd like to thank Judy and my parents for uh, being very supportive. This is the first time that my parents have seen me lose, so I guess there's a first time for everything. <laughs> I thought my dad was going to pull the match out for me, but it didn't quite happen. But anyway, I'd like to thank Ford for being the sponsor, and uh, of course, Virginia Slims for uh, supporting women's studies for a long, long time. And I hope to see you back here tomorrow for the doubles. Thank you. the winner, a, a, a very notable winner, Hannah Mazakova. Well, it's uh, always very, it's very nice to beat Martina in the finals, but it's difficult to, sp to talk uh, speech after her because, because she always says uh, everything. But, uh, you know, I respect her very, very much as a person and as a player, and uh, I learned a lot from her from the past, but only by watching her. So, you know, I'm very, very happy to be there today. <laughs> Second of all, I'd like to thank, thank to my coach, Betty Stover, which uh, she's with me for seven years now, and uh, we went through bad times and good times, and, you know, I'm very happy that uh, I won a Grand Slam again, and... Uh, so I really, I'm very, very happy for me and for her, for her also. Thank you very much. And uh, I like, I like to thank you, but supporters, because uh, I think uh, you support me very much during this whole tournament. You wanted me to win, and I did it. So I hope you, you happy as, a, as, as happy I am. Thank you. <laughs> Also, I'd like to thank Ford for the sponsor and Virginia Slims. Uh, they su support us uh, all the way. I will be back next year, not here, but uh, somewhere in Australia, somewhere on the some surface. Thank you. Placard yesterday said cash always beats a check. I wonder if today somebody had a sign that said an Australia Vakian will always beat an America Vakian. Something along those lines. Hannah Manley Kova, soon to be an Australian, defeating the number one seed Martina Navratilova, 7 5 6 1.